are at the last Tuesday of the year 2020 and it is a full moon in Cancer. Woo! That is, that's amazing. Especially when I look at this card pool that I, that I have right here. Hmm. I got my wonderful sip of coffee. <laughs> so enjoy whatever you're drinking while we go through this. We're going to do something a little bit different today. We are going to look at the card read, discern what the block is, and then I'm going to give you a tool that I learned and became certified in helping a person transform from the negative part of a card reading that's happening in their life to something more positive and being able to feel that in the body. So thank you while we, thank you for joining me as we go through this. Okay, and we're gonna be moving pretty fast, so keep up. The first card that I found that I turned over is the Nine of Cups. We're just gonna go through the cards. The Magician, the Page of Cups Reverse, and the lovers reverse. Oh my goodness. So let's do that. Let's go through these cards. Now, the first card is the nine of cups. Normally it shows up like this. However, it showed up reverse today. So what does that represent? The nine represents ending of cycles, ending of, of uh, circumstances, and beginning or seeing a, a better path. A lot of times that nine is definitely connected to um, a releasing something. However, this card should have reversed. And so this would be where we may be stuck in not letting something go. We could be uh, stuck in a, in a way of communicating, not so much about re uh, a relationship, because cups are relationships, but how are we communicating in the relationship? The second card is the magician, which I absolutely love. This card is the reminder that you have all the tools within to literally transform your life. You can manifest anything. That is so important. We tend to forget when we're caught in these emotional cycles that we don't have any power. We have to reach outside of ourselves to be validated or to to get through what we need to. However, it's right. It's all within. It's all here. The next card is the Page of Cups, and it showed up reverse. Okay. But normally this cup is just like this. Now the page, let me tell you about the page. Very interesting. When we think about the page, we're looking at the attitude of, of um, the court cards. So you have four cards. You have the page, and you have the knight, the, uh, the queen, and the king. So it's a family. We have the young child, we have the invincible teenager, the mother, and the father. So when we look at this youthful energy of the Page of Cups, we're looking at spontaneity. It could be a little bit of immaturity. It could definitely be um, very short-sighted, but it's uh, short-sighted, but very excitable. However, this card shows it reversed. And so this is about taking a step into a more mature place and letting go of something definitely that was bothering you, um, that has been bothering you um, in the way that you've been communicating with family and friends here. And especially this year, when we look at all the stuff that's happened in 2020, it has collectively allowed you to be able to communicate with people or lack thereof. And there could be some resentment, um, anger, and this is a good time to clear that so that you can go into 2021 feeling really resound, especially as things are turning in events in the political scene. You definitely need to be stronger with your friends and family. Now, how do we know this is about friends and family. Well, it's the lovers. And the lovers shows up like it will, normally it shows up, you know, forward, but it showed up reversed. Now, when I see this, this, this card is not about an actual lover pair. It's about um, partnerships. It's about business. It's about working together. But the card shows up reversed. Now, in this case, I say, then it's really about family. It is really about friends, and it's about letting go uh, cups here in page, page of cups, of toxic communication, and you do have the power to get it done. So now, how do we transform that? 
here's the special tool. This was something I learned by Arnold Goran um, back in 2016, got my certification, and it's literally a neurodynamic um, transformation that helps you to stop fight or flight in the brain and transform so you can maneuver and get through these, these, these feelings that may feel very negative in the body. So you do it in three steps. The first step is to identify the issue. So the issue could be a friend, a family, or an issue. It could be your job. And just identify that issue. The issue is with this family member. And locate where you feel it in your body. That's step two. Boy, when I think about this family member and what we went through, I feel it in my gut. And I feel like it's jittery. Acknowledge it. And then take charge of it and cancel the thoughts that are there. How do we do that? By literally telling them to stop. So we're going to do that. I'm gonna use the choice word not, and you can use that word as well. So the nine of cups is connected to, let's just say resentful, regretful, um, nasty communication that we need to let go of. Not I'm upset at my so-and-so. Not I'm upset at this thing, and it really has me um, upset. Okay? And, and you can say that as many times as you want. And you may feel powerless. So, not I don't feel like I have control. Not I don't feel like I have any control. And the Page of Cups reverse. Not it's difficult for me to let it go. Not it's difficult for me to let it go. And the lovers reverse. Not I don't want to forgive. Not I don't want to forgive. Now you may say those a couple of times, as many times as you need to, and begin to see that feeling dissipate in your body. And then you will give it a transformative positive statement aka positation that's my word so anyways that positation is simply saying you have better communication with the people you love every day well thank you for joining me today i'll be back with my cup of coffee and a couple of cards for the day and we'll do the same thing i think this is really great it feels great for me because I do this exercise and it has helped such a great deal. So anyways, thank you so very much. I'll see you. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you want, you can come and get your own personal session and we can clear out a whole treasure chest of stuff you've collected over the years. Thanks. I'll talk with you soon. Ashay.